Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to this lovely day at North Point Children's Church. I had a visitor come over and sleep, but she said she wanted to come to Children's Church, and she's not here. So on the count of three, we're going to scream her name. Are you ready? Her name is Sarah. One, two, three. Sarah! She's still not coming. Let's try again. One, she got to scream loud this time. One, two, three. Sarah! Oh, oh morning, Sarah. Morning, Auntie Vicky. Oh, oh, did I miss Children's Church? Please say it in Miss Children's Church. Oh, no. No, Sarah, we were just beginning, and I was just going to wish the children a happy birthday. Phew. But Auntie Vicky, guess what? What, Sarah? I had a birthday this week. You had a birthday? Uh-huh. Oh my goodness me. Happy birthday, Sarah. Thank you. And happy birthday to all the boys and girls out there who had a birthday with me this week. We're practically twins. Hashtag twinsies. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Well, children, happy birthday if you had a birthday. But now we're going to do something else. What's that? We're going to sing and praise Jesus. Woohoo! Are there actions? Are there actions? I love doing actions. There's actions. So. Yay! So we need to start. And okay, but Auntie Vicky. Yes, Sarah. Aren't you forgetting something? Did I forget something? Uh-huh. What did I forget? So there's like some really... um old people that at home that might hurt themselves so we need to stretch and warm up first okay well that's a good idea because i haven't done exercises for about eight weeks now <gasps> don't tell anyone that that's bad <laughs> okay will you lead us in in stretching yes so everybody at home moms and dads boys and girls up you get and let's stretch. Come on, Auntie Vicky. Okay, let's stretch. Everybody reach up to the ceiling and down to the ground. And up to the ceiling and down to the ground. And everybody stretch to the left and stretch to the right. And deep breath in and my goodness me can i sit down now i suppose okay so now that i've had my exercises let me just catch my breath okay but before we start sarah we're going to pray okay close your eyes everybody lord jesus we thank you that we can come to you this morning we pray god that you will be glorified through everything we pray god that even the children would even sing songs to you now we pray this in your name and also god that when the story has been told, that they will understand it. We pray this in your name. Amen. Okay, let's get together and do our actions. Woohoo! you, I can do anything. I can do all things. Because it's you who gives me strength.
it was fun wasn't it uh-huh. but we've got to do something else and it's even more fun and important wow what's that well we have to eat sweets no sarah not sweets okay we're going to play with toys no sarah stop interrupting me come on now let's just sit quietly because <sighs> otherwise you're not going to get any marshmallows but what could be more important than eating sweets or playing with toys on Vicky? well it's to read the bible which is god's word oh that is important yes because god speaks to us through his word really yes because it's god breathed so everything in god's word is god breathed wow that's cool so let us start reading the bible have you got your bible sarah oh um i had it somewhere okay uh, can we pause the story so i can go find it it's okay sarah we've got your bible but boys oh. and girls have you got your bible if not, run, put a pause and run and get your Bibles and then we can read the story. Okay, now that everybody's back, we are going to read the story and it's going to be in Matthew 21, verse 33 to 45. But I'm only going to read up to number 40. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Okay, let's go. Listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard. He put a wall around it, dug a wine press in it and built a watchtower. Then he rented the vineyard to some farmers and went away on a journey. When the harvest time approached, he sent his servants to the tenants to collect his fruit. The tenants seized his servants. They beat one up, killed another and stoned a third. Then he sent other servants to them more than the first and the tenants treated them the same way last of all he sent his son to them they will respect my son he said but when the tenants saw the son they said to each other this is the heir come let's kill him and take his inheritance so they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him therefore when the owner of the vineyard comes what will he do to those tenants <gasps> 
Auntie Vicky? Yes, Sarah? That was not a nice story. No, it wasn't a very nice Why story. Why would Jesus even put that in the Bible? That's horrible. Well, Sarah, let's watch the story together. How? On a video. <gasps> Is there popcorn? No popcorn, Sarah. So let's watch the story and let's see why Jesus w thought it was important. Okay. Okay, sit back guys. Let's watch the story together. Jesus was teaching in the temple. He told the religious leaders to listen to this story. A landowner planted a vineyard. He built a wall around the vineyard and dug a pit for crushing grapes. He also built a tower. The landowner rented the vineyard to some tenants and left the country. When it was time for the harvest, the owner sent some servants to go get his grapes. But the tenants grabbed the servants. They beat up one servant, killed another, and threw stones at the third. So the owner sent more servants to his vineyard, but the tenants attacked them too. Finally, the owner sent his son. He expected the tenants to respect him, but the tenants threw the son out of the vineyard and killed him. Jesus asked, when the owner comes back to the vineyard, what do you think he should do to those tenants? The religious leaders answered, they deserve to die. The owner should rent the vineyard to people who respect him. Jesus replied, don't you know what the scriptures say? The stone that the builders tossed aside is now the cornerstone, the most important stone of all. God did this, and it is amazing to us. Then Jesus said, so I tell you, God's kingdom will be taken away from you and given to people who do what he commands. Anyone who trips over the stone will be broken to pieces, and this stone will crush anyone it falls on. When the religious leaders heard Jesus' story, they knew that Jesus was talking about them. Jesus told this story to teach the religious leaders about himself. God sent his own son Jesus to earth, but the religious leaders rejected him. Jesus is the cornerstone, the most important one of all. Only he can save us from our sin. There we go, Sarah. Did that make a bit more sense? Um, I think so. So, in this story, Jesus was telling about a landowner and some uh, people and, and his son, but I think he was actually talking about himself, right? That's correct. But Auntie Vicky? Yes, Sarah? Why did Jesus have to use stories? Why didn't he just talk about himself? Because he needed to explain it a bit better, so it's called a parable. A parable? No, a parable. That's what I said, a parable. No, you can't say it, so just use the word story. Okay. And he thought that if he uses his stories to talk about it, to relay something, then it'll be much easier for them to understand. Okay, Auntie Vicky? Yes, Sarah? So, in this parable, God is the landowner, right? That's correct. And Jesus is his son, right? That's correct. But now, who are the really, 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 really bad people who did such mean things and ended up killing the son? Good question, Sarah. The bad people are the religious leaders. They did not accept Jesus as God's son, and they rejected him. And they even killed him on the cross. <gasps> so it was them! So if it wasn't for them, Jesus would never have to die on the cross. No, that was part of God's original plan, that Jesus would die for our sins, that he would um, carry our sins to the cross. Oh, but why? So that whoever believes on him can receive forgiveness of their sins. But Auntie Vicky? Yes, Sarah? What about the people who don't believe in Jesus? What happens to them? Just like in this story, Sarah, those who reject Jesus as God's son will be punished by God. <gasps> so will they be sent to the naughty corner? No, Sarah, much worse than that. <gasps> Their phones will be taken away. No, Sarah, much, much, much worse than that. <gasps> but what could be worse than the naughty corner or our phones being taken away? 
Well, they'll go to and spend eternity without God. <gasps> but what's eternity? Eternity means forever and ever. And ever? And ever. And ever? That's correct. That's a really long time. It is a long time. Okay, but now, so how can we help these people? Well, the way that we can help them is by telling your friends and people about Jesus and what he did on the cross and that he died for our sins and that they must come to know him. But... Auntie Vicky, sometimes I get really scared when I have to talk to people because I don't know what to say. Well, there's an easy way that the children have been uh, practicing at home and it's called God's Plan. Do you want to learn it? Yes, please. Girls and boys, can we teach the, uh, Sarah how to do God's Plan? I think that's a great idea. Are we going to do it together? Uh-huh. Okay. God rules. God rules. We sinned. We sinned. God provides. God provides. Jesus gives. Jesus gives. And we respond. And we respond. Do you think you can do that on your own, Sarah? Um, I think so, but maybe the boys and girls at home can do it with me one more time. Okay, I'll do the actions with you, okay? Okay. Let's go. God rules. We sin. God provides. God provides. Jesus, Jesus gives. And we respond. That's right. Good job. Yeah. Well done, Sarah. Well done, girls and boys. That's so nice and easy. Now I know exactly what to say next time. Also, you know what? What? The children have been learning a memory verse. Oh. I wonder if your children can remember it. A melody verse? No. No, not a melody verse, a memory verse. Oh, what's that? That's in the Bible. Oh. So we're going to read it. Okay, are you ready? It is in John 14 verse 6. John 14 verse 6. That's correct. Jesus answered. Jesus answered. I am the way. I am the way. The truth. The truth. And the life. And the life. No one comes to the Father. No one comes to the Father. Except through me. Except through me. That's correct. Do you want to translate on your own with the other girls and boys? Let's try. Okay, go for it. John 14 verse 6. That's correct. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That's correct. Well done. Yay! Girls and boys, I hopefully that you've learned your memory verse and you must translate every day. Okay. Thank you so much for having me, everybody. It was so nice of you to join us today, Sarah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Now we're going to pray. Sarah, would you like to close off for us? Okay. Close your eyes. Dear God, Thank you for your word. You are good and you love us. Long ago, you sent prophets to tell us about your plan to save sinners. And then you sent your son. Forgive us for resisting Jesus. He is not a threat or an enemy, but our friend. Change our hearts to welcome him with joy. We need you and we love you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Auntie Vicky. But I don't want to forget anything that I've learned today. Well, actually, Sarah, if you want to, you can go onto the website. Really? To do some questions about today's story. That sounds like So fun. that you don't forget anything. Okay. Okay, boys and girls, if you want to do the same, you can go onto the website. Ask Mommy and Daddy to help you to go on the website. It's npcc.org. ZA. Well, thank you for joining us and we miss you all so very much and we hope to see you very soon. Bye. 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 Hey everyone. Trailblazers is still running on Friday nights over Zoom. So for grade fours to sevens, message us on our website to join our Zoom meetings and we'll see you there. And don't forget to invite your friends to join us for our kids sessions every Sunday straight after church, just like this one.